No, once on Oprah, there was this woman on the show and she was talking about certain etiquettes and things like mobile phones, you shouldn't answer a mobile phone at the dinner table and all this stuff. But the one thing I never forgot was um, how to use a toothpick at the table. And I've, I have not been able to not do this at a dinner table when I've had dinner. So you grab your, your toothpick and you discreetly cover your mouth as you're picking away. And of course, you can keep carrying on a conversation without it being rude and showing your cheese, your yogurt cheeses as you're trying to pick it out of your teeth. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you're hearing a word I'm saying at the minute. Oh, well, I am. The cheeky pigs. Uh, I mean, does that look weird? Like, <laughs> well, you'll be able to see soon. Now um, up to the back teeth. Uh, is it feeling good? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> where you got your brand of toothpicks from, but they're very good, sturdy. Yeah, nice. Nice and long. I think and they're from China. China? Uh, wow. I think so. Well, they're better than the ones you usually get at, like, um, Barbecue Kings. Oh, yes, they have those splintery ones. Yeah, the they ones, break. The ones with the nicely rounded ends. Exactly, they break all the time. They do. Now, these are great. I mean, this is like getting right in there. So is it polite, okay, so did the woman on Oprah tell you that you should just be delicate and, mm. and pluck out what you really needed to get rid of, or was she quite happy for you to just keep mm. going and mm. having a good old keep, time? Keep going, but just... <laughs> Close it off, but you can have a, have a small chat. I don't remember now whether she, there was chatting, but <laughs> she was, you know, made the point of, you know, how to hold the hand. And just, you know, it's on Oprah. And Did you pick up any other points? Pick up anything? Yeah. Points? Yeah. Uh, any other points? I remember mobile phones and toothpicks. I don't remember anything else now. I'm a little bit concerned now because the battery thing is flashing, but... Oh, no. Yeah. Well, Are I'm, we burning out? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, so, no other tips? Not at the minute. Mm. But, um... Yeah, I really like your toothpicks. That's good. Do you mind if I have another? No, you can have a pair. But then what do you do with the soil oh, toothpick? Well, if the little vessel was here that had the uh, Kalamata olive pips going in it, <laughs> you could have that because that would be perfect. It's kind of a, a small vase. Those Kalamata olives were pretty special. They were, they were good. They were good for supermarket oh. ones. Oh, my. Oh, no. I think just... I caught you out with two toothpicks, no waiting bad. It's really mm. bad. You've caught mm. me in a low point. Mm. No. <laughs> oh, what a marvellous dinner, Kim. Thank you so much. That's my pleasure. With <sighs> it's so relaxing. Just on a rare Monday night. having to work. So I know. Got, oh. Um, well, next Monday is the last Monday night, last Monday off. Uh, the gang are going to see Gallipoli. Have Gallipoli. you seen Gallipoli yet? The Sydney Theatre Company's latest no. production? No. I've heard it's amazing. It's no. like very specky and lots of, you know, actors' company and NIDA kids, third year NIDA, are doing it. And, um, written by who? Mm. A, a Nigel Jamison has written it and directed it. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I've heard it's great. Gallipoli. Go and see it. Mm. I will. Are you going? I would like to go. Depends on how I feel on the night because I'm so tired. Oh, because it's your last Monday. Last Monday before Rocky finishes in Sydney. <laughs>